Welcome to Game of Roses. This is Pace Case. This is Bachelor Clues. And today we have the second half of Jen's rookie players deep dive into their Instagrams. We'll probably also look at some of the TikToks. Not all of these guys have TikToks though. It's only about half overall. But the ones that we could find. Or we couldn't find them. That's true. Some of them have very common names like Matt Arnold. Mm -hmm. There were a hundred Matt Arnolds. There was a Matt Arnold 121, a Matt Arnold 897. Matt Arnold 666. It's not true. Matt Arnold, I would suggest maybe going Matt, you know, Jason Arnold or whatever your yeah. middle name is. Change your last and name to something. And make that the handle across all platforms. Just totally as agree. The first starting off point. But before we do any of that, Pace Case, are you ready for a world premiere? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no one's ready for this one. I'm almost complete with my album. It's almost fully done. And I'm going to be releasing these songs as singles that'll be on Spotify and stuff as, as quickly as I can. I'm uh, kind of getting up to speed on the process of independent uh, production and distribution of music. But today... Some of the people have been demanding them. I just made a TikTok <laughs> music video of I'm So Happy For You yeah, That's one Chad of my, my EDM bangers, one of my club hits. This song that I want to play for you today that is a country stuck hit. in my head. Um, as you know, my, my bachelor music is primarily country. This song is so far the one that has the most, um, reference to it is the most angled toward the actual show. So this is Ooh, the most bachelor coded you're saying it's not even coded. It's basically written from the perspective of a night one guy and it is called goodbye. And it references the very <gasps> famous line. Take a moment, say your goodbyes. Are you ready for the song pace case? I'm even less ready than I was at the beginning. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's play the song in three, three, two, two, one. one. This one's a little more like rockets. This one's for the guys. I love all the instrumental beginnings. I know this is our last night together. I can tell by the look in your eyes. But tonight ain't just about you and me. You got a great group of guys. I didn't find love. The goodbye is that's a showstopper, ladies and gentlemen. I know I'm not your perfect cup of tea, and girl, that's perfectly alright. Cause I ain't leaving empty handed. I got a brand new crew of great guys. <laughs> and one of them is gonna make you a great wife. So would you give me just a minute to say my Jesse, Ari, Ken, Braden, Byron, Jerry, Ben. These are all my guys. <laughs> oh my God. Goodbye, goodbye to the guys I met tonight. Goodbye, goodbye. Don't worry, I'll be all right. Goodbye, goodbye. Look me up when you get outside. Goodbye, 
see you guys at Stagecoach. <laughs> <laughs> that was... <laughs> Oh my god! Thank you for indulging. I was not ready. Yeah. I, that I, is such a good way to lead us into Gen season, thank like you very kind much. of an homage to Night One, guys. Yeah. And like, you are gonna be all right. We exactly. know it sucks, but just met a group of real we're great still guys. Proud. Uh, At least you made it on, you know, to the yeah. limo level. Exactly. A lot of people don't. Well, thank you for indulging. Remember the leftovers. That was the world premiere of Goodbye. What are they That'll be out at some point as a single across Spotify, iTunes, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but let's uh, start looking the into goodbye this. Goodbye part. So good. Thank and you. you know I love your bridges. Yeah. Just the listing of the names. The list of the Ari, guys. Peter, Sean. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Killed me. It had to be done. I'm uh, like, wait. It's mu- It's like good music that's made specifically targeted at me. Yes. And me. This is like, well, yeah, but... It's my you private it. listening uh, stock, my reserves. But now let's I move mean, on to our such own. Such a gift to the pit. Thank you. Yes. Wait, uh, we have a piece of business. Do we? Oh, yeah. Right now. One you to can two pieces. get a brand new piece of gore merch. Shot glasses. We have made the official. Peaches coming at you. Game of Roses. Shot glasses that have love levels uh, marked on them. So the way the shot glass works is you have the shot glass. If you see a love level one in the game, you pour up to the love level one, which is the lowest level, and you take that shot. If you see a love level two, pour up to two, up to three, up to four, so on and so forth. So by the time you come around to fantasy suites where people are throwing around love level threes and fours basically every 15 seconds, you're going to be taking a lot of shots during playoffs. So get ready. Of whatever your medicine is. It's shot o'clock. It's time. We deserve this. We deserve to track our love levels and have fun at the same time. I agree. I used to collect shot glasses. Oh, until really? I had got too many. Interesting. I loved that it's just like an easy thing. If you're traveling, you know, it's like a tiny thing. Yeah. Well, but now, now everyone many. can collect shot glasses, or at least this singular shot glass you can I have get room for at. This one. Uh, oh, fantastic! Um, you can just go to all of our social media. Find the links there. It's on all of our merch stores, and uh, happy drinking, everybody, as we Game move into... GameofRoses.co. Right, GameofRoses.co. And as we now move into Gen Trans season, we have the final 12 guys that we're going to be breaking down right now, starting with Jonathan Johnson. Jonathan is 27 years old. He is a Leo from Los Angeles, California, a creative director. He is at J I Jiggity dot John J I G G I T Y dot G O N on Instagram, and we could not find a TikTok. He has one thousand six hundred ninety four Instagram followers today, as of Monday, July first. One hundred thirty four posts, and it looks like his first post here is going to be uh, something on his computer. It's him watching himself on his own computer. Watching the, the trailer. Promo. I do not hear the sound of this. Is that? All right, it's an interesting post. Sorry, Pace Case, I, I did not have the correct drivers to share the sound with you on these. Okay. This is all I can do. Well, it could be funny, could not be. I'm not sure. Uh, it was an attempt. I'll give it that much. <laughs> I like that he's out there, that he's I in like front the of energy. us, that he's using it. Let's see what we got here. From got far him. away, it looks kind of like a Dini Babies. Oh, my. He's very musk. I won't give him Vask, but he is very Five musk. easy food swaps that could save you 500 plus calories. Let's see what we got. What are the swaps? A bagel or an English muffin? Swap my bagel? For what? Salmon for Atlantic cod, mayonnaise for light mayonnaise, a glass of orange juice for one orange, so on and so forth. This is not that interesting. There's a lot of workout photos, as you might expect. Very mm-hmm. musk. What was this guy? He's a creative director, but it seems like His... he's a personal trainer. Oh, he's got Kansas City Royals gear, manned after my own heart. I like that. Royals are my favorite baseball team. Thank you, Jonathan. His bio reads, hey, man, I just work here. Okay. Casey to Los Angeles. 
Let's what is that? Con- Kansas, Kansas City? City? Yeah. Not Kentucky City. Hmm. Let's go back. Back in time. Here we have some... Is this high school or college football? This seems like Maybe high school like football Roberto. to me. Maybe like a Roberto. Who is this? It's got an Eiffel Tower picture, meaning I assume he has visited the place, the location. Mm. Played some lacrosse in high school or college in 2014. Been on a mini move. Yeah, so he's from Kansas City. Here he is in some more Royals gear. I do like to see that. And his first picture is a picture of of his childhood self. Is this his mother? Looks like it. Prom, maybe? 2013? Why am I seeing no captions on this? We got a... uh, sombrero pick here's a bleached hair pick couldn't ask for a better mom love her so much happy mother's day i'm not getting any good ptcs here wait happy father's day have a great day everybody not seeing any kind of ptc imagery here Happy birthday. A bunch of happy birthday to his buds and his moms and his dads. CIF Division II championship game. Be there. We're about to bring the win home. So he was a D2 college football player, it looks like. All right. I, I don't know. I'm not getting strong impressions from him, honestly. He's just kind of like a sports guy who has some buddies. His Instagram is not. Lots of old pictures on the Instagram. I would get rid of a bunch of these. I agree. It was enough to get him in the game, but, uh, you know, the fourth be with you. Come to prom with me and join the dark side. Where's that? He did a promposal. This is 477 weeks ago. (laughs) That's, he's holding up a sign. It's, it's, uh, up. Oh, wait. Now I'm not. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Hashtag RB is greater than Poe. Hashtag banana underwear. Hashtag May the 4th. Got myself a hot date. So I think we're going to be seeing kind of a um, puppy dog play style. Mama's boy, maybe. We know he... We know he makes it to a one-on-one from the promo. Oh, yeah. He's so, in a I mean, he's plane. at least, he makes it past night one. I, I can tell you mm-hmm. that much. Yeah, that song's not for him. And if he gets a one-on-one and it's a helicopter date, which it is in the promo, uh, I don't know. I feel like he probably goes pretty far. Shall we see what ABC says about him? Jonathan is um, really... You know who he should pair up with is the, um, the other fitness guy, the guy with his own business. Sure. They're all kind of fitness guys, though. Jonathan's really something special with his gorgeous smile, his entrepreneurial spirit, and a loyal heart. He has it all. Jonathan is missing. His partner by his side is ready to meet the woman of his dreams. He's self-proclaimed romantic who says, quote, I treat every girl the same way I would want to see my mother and sister treated. Jonathan is well-traveled, spontaneous, and excited about the possibility of traveling the world with Jen. When the creative director isn't working, he loves listening to Post Malone, checking out local escape rooms. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and playing lacrosse with his friends. Jonathan's here to find his perfect match and hopefully return I've home. never done an escape room and I I've don't want one. to. Jonathan calls himself a medium king. I don't know what that means. Some height reference, I assume. He wants to move ho- to Hawaii. Medium on The Bachelor or medium nice. elsewhere? I'm not sure. But that is where we're at with Jonathan. Let's move on hmm. to our next I don't part. know. He's got, a, he's got a 4TRR look. I think he could do... He's at least a mid-level floater. All right. I think. Totally possible. Moving on to Kevin McDevitt, 35. Is he the oldest guy in our list? Yes, he is. 35? Kevin McDevitt at 35 is the oldest guy in our list. He's a cancer from Denver, a financial analyst. Here is his Instagram. Mm -hmm. It's Kev McDev. He's got uh, 2,210 followers with 85 posts. This is actually not a bad Instagram. He's got some, look, little modeling kind of shots here. Good vibes only as he poses against some kind of pillar in a, a dress suit. Um, he's got a picture of a dog. 13 years it's of love. giving Jordan Kimball. Oh, his, God. His promo photo. I'm sorry, Lizzie. Don't look at this one. It's a dead dog post. 
13 years of love. Couldn't have asked for a better pup. Rip, sweet. Well, you're going to read it. Oh, I have to. Don't look, Liz, but we, I'm going to read it. We do do Take a podcast. Take it out of your ear, ear muffs. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I do have to read what I'm looking at. There he is holding a, a fish that it's he's caught. It's an audio format. Um, what is this? I think Travel? he's going to do very well. I don't know about A lot of guy. fish pictures. You know, that's also another classic Tinder photo. Holding a fish. Icelandic fish. brown trout. Yeah. Here's one from July 16th, 2021. He is waist deep in some a river. It seems like holding a dead fish, smiling about the death of this creature. Camo. No elk were harmed during this trip. Perens, unfortunately. Um, yeah, he no hates elk, elk. Yeah, he wants to harm all the elk that he can. This man mm -hmm. is a killer. There is no question about that. There, there are yeah. so many pictures of him with dead fish. Just so many. I can't mm -hmm. really um, count the number at this point. I mean, it's it's. Look, I caught a at fish. Least ten. I caught a. Fi I caught many fish, and I understand the photo. But mm -hmm. is he a competitive fisherman? What is that his uh, job? It doesn't look to be any kind of competition going on here. He's, he just likes holding the the creatures up to the camera. He's got some travel photos. His Instagram is very much. I would get rid of at least uh, ninety yeah. percent. You 90 have, to 99 percent of these trout photos maybe 100 i think three dead fish photos like we get the idea he's really hammering it home here's him feeding it yeah. out there's pictures of the dog when the dog was living it's no. it's kind of an adventurous guy he's an outdoorsman he's killing the animals he's doing Ooh, the backflips with skis check out july 14th 2014 we got a christian player here Am I looking at the it right is one? him and his bros with a selfie stick in front of a Jesus uh, statue. That's the Christ the Redeemer statue. The hike was worth it. Hashtag Christ the Redeemer. Oh, that's what it's called. Yeah. That's a very oh. famous statue. Gotcha. Um, I thought he was just saying Christ is the Redeemer. Is he Christian player though? Let's look up here. Just said his bio just says Laguna Beach. Maybe false, he's Christian. We don't know. Flag. Um, Kev McDev, Kevin McDevitt does have a TikTok. Right. Let's check that out. It is zero posts and two followers. Kevin.McDevitt8, if you're into mm. that. Let's move on. I, I don't think he's going to go for How it. How do you know that's him? I don't. That was the only Kevin McDevitt I could find. <laughs> <laughs> I assume it's him. Kevin McDevitt, if you're listening to this and you can correct us, please send us your actual TikTok. Any of the Kevin McDevitts out there, let yeah. us know. Is this you? <laughs> Moving on. To our next player, Marcus Schoberg, who is 31, also a little long in the tooth for this player pool. There's only, what is it? There is one, two, three. Born in the 90s, disgusting. Four, five, six. <laughs> there are only seven players out of 25 who are over 30. Marcus Schoberg is one of them. He is a Taurus from Raleigh, North Carolina, an Army Ranger veteran. Now, that's an up. Jen has military something. Yeah. Doesn't she? Yes, and I'm not positive, but I think Army Ranger is like a special forces type scenario. So this is kind of... Wait, a, I feel like... Didn't we hear something about this guy? I'm not sure. Something. But his bio reads, cross emoji. It's cool to be kind. Per aspera ad astra. Mm, Do you know what that means? Another Christian player. Uh, Latin Good for one, yeah. the breather to the sky space. From breath to something, maybe. Let's see if I can find this quickly. From breath to sky. Maybe it's like my lips to God's ears. Through adversity to the stars is what it means. He's got a, um, hmm. a link here. Sentinelsoffreedom.org. Let's check that out. Sentinels of Freedom Mission, we are committed to empowering severely wounded and injured post 9-11 veterans during their transition into civilian life. Okay. So hmm. this is like a, a military kind of charity, it seems like. He's in some Can we way go through those uh, Instagram highlights, Chad? Sure. What am I looking at? Which one do you want to see? I'm just, I want to see the first one, L-O-T-F. Um, looks like some uh, medals. Are these his medals? medals? Were those his medals? Freedom never more than one generation away from yeah. extinction. From the men uh -oh. of 2C. I can't read exactly what that says, but 
It does look like he's gotten some, is that a purple heart over there From and a the bronze SC. star? I think those medals Your are. loyalty? I think so. So he's got some high commendations. Uh, these are 9-11, never forget. He's got that. Yeah, he's, okay, maybe there's some tied to 9-11. I mean, I'm going to say maybe there's even a PTC there. there's a PTC that, here? Like, that's what. Yeah. Uh, made him decide to go into the military, perhaps? I think you're right. I think we're going to get a 9-11 PTC. Again, another very outdoorsy kind of guy. There's a lot of stuff of him climbing mountains, climbing rocks. Here's a here's one of him doing kind of a swan dive off the back of a boat. And it simply, it's in Hydra Greece, and it simply reads present. Here's him surfing. We've got a lot of adventurous, adventurous men on this. Yeah. I hope... They can find their bromance through adventure, their second audience game. You know, I like that song this guy. really inspired me. Which one? What? Which song? The night one. Guys. Oh, thank you. Here's his earliest post is from December seventh, twenty thirteen. It's him in uh, some kind of <gasps> military gear, giving the Ooh. thumbs up behind the wheel of what I assume is a military vehicle, and the caption reads, "Your Uber has arrived." I like his Instagram. It has some interesting pics here. I like this little black and white. Oh, I read the cap. I read the first pics. comment as the caption. Whoops. Mm. And he's got it's some hashtag go f yourself. He's got some like military stuff for sure. Here he is at uh, is that an NFL game? I can't tell wh who's in that game, but it's at, the caption is best job I ever had, and it's him and another Army Ranger on the field of some big football stadium during a football game playing golf. I, I like this guy. It's a good Instagram. Instagram. It is. I it's get a, really a sense of Instagram. who the guy is. And like he has an aesthetic eye or something. Yeah. It, it's pretty well put together. Um, you know, I think it's going to be a matter of on night one, how much of his military stuff does he use as a, a part of his persona and how much does Jen like that or how much do the producers want to keep him around? I don't know. I could see him doing decently in the game though. Here's an interesting August 2021. In two weeks, I begin the next chapter, one that's four years of rigorous education at, uh, I think this is at Harvard. I'm excited. Um, didn't think it would coincide with pandemic, turbulent election, insurrection that could have ended in catastrophe. Okay. That's called it an insurrection. Not only weeks before I begin that, you know, He's like using you got a crazy uh, leftist here. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> weeks before I begin at Harvard. Leftist. I watched what's taking place in Afghanistan, bringing back emotions from 9 11. Personally, feel gutted. Heart goes out to the Afghans who bled and died with us over the future of their country. I've been doing my part, volunteered when my country called for brave men to fight, wore a mask, got a vaccine, vaccinated. All right. Well, I we'll see how I feel pressure to represent veterans in a positive way. Interesting. Indeed. Moving on to our next player, Marvin Goodley. Marvin is 28 years old. He is a tourist from Santa Monica, California, a luxury event planner. Okay. Let's check out Marvin here. Marvin is... Marvin Goodley, that's his Instagram handle. He's got 26 posts and he's got 1,632 followers. And he does have a TikTok here as well, which we will get to. <laughs> Rest um, assured. All right. So he's the luxury event planner. This is about as drastically different of an Instagram as you could have from the guy we just looked at. Uh, Marcus Edward, who was an army ranger, mm -hmm. you know, doing the altruistic things for his country. This is a guy decked out in Gucci. He's on yachts, holding women in bikinis. Um, a lot of shirtless ab pics. A lot of shirtless abs, really showing it off. Damn, he is very musk. There's no question about that. Take a look at that picture. Here he is on, a, is this a tennis his court? first post is him... Howard University. I graduated today with a BS in economics and PhD in finesse. We see that come into play. <laughs> Talk about PhD with finesse. Look at this picture. I think this is him as a child with the Obamas. Oh my God. That's great. Wow. That, Cute. you know, of all the things that make me feel really old, it's stuff like this when I'm like, oh, here's a bachelor right? player. 
Oh, when that basketball player was like 10 years old is when Obama was in the, the White House. I was yeah. like 35. Um, like imagine that being like the first president you remember. I know. I know. Oh, look at this. And then imagine the other alternatives. There he is in Paris, shirtless, standing in front of the Louvre with uh, mm, another Parisian 5K to jumpstart the day. So I guess he did a 5K run. I like this Instagram. Healthy is wealthy. Okay, so he's modeling, maybe? Kind of. He doesn't... You know what the problem with his pictures? There's not a lot of, like, up-close face work here. So it's hard to tell. The The closest face picture we get is his bachelor rookie photo. That's the best parasocial gaze we're given. Um, let's check out his TikTok. 38 followers. I'm very curious what um, kind of fashion he's going to bring. He's got some real short shorts, which I'm a big fan of. Do you like guys in short shorts? Yeah. French girls call me American boy. He's got some workout videos, it looks like. Um, His TikTok is nothing really to speak of. It's just 10 videos. They're all minimal. But he linked it in the Instagram. He did, which is good. You should. So I feel like he's going to be producing yeah, we'll Soon. see. Okay, here he is. Wa- oh, I love this. He's watching a woman do a face over his picture. This is so meta. Let's move on mm. to our next player, Matt Arnold, who is 27, an Aries from Atlanta, Georgia, an insurance executive. Mm. Insurance. Matt Arnold. Do I have him up there? Oh, was his the Instagram that got turned off? Yes. Matt Arnold's Instagram is right there. It's Matt Arnold 74. Sorry, this page isn't available. So he has Ooh. deactivated it, at least as far as we can tell. Or changed his handle. Potentially changed his handle to something that we couldn't find. So good luck to Matt Arnold. Moving on. Mose. Add that middle name, name in there. I agree. Or you something. Can, you can make something up. Just put like yes. danger or something. Make it easy to find yourself. We have Mose Smith, who is 25 years old. This is the second youngest, or he's tied with another player who we'll get to in a moment for second youngest, only slightly older than Dylan Buckhor, who is 24 years old. But Mose Smith is 25, a Virgo from Albany, New York, who is also an algebra teacher. Here we go. His Instagram is mo's.dangerous. I love the highlight covers. Yeah, his highlight covers are (laughs) M-O-Z-E, which is how he spells his name. His uh, bio reads number 22. They're gold script letters. It's great. And W-R stands for wide receiver. Non-human. Thank you. Red X emoji flex. A-L-B Statue of Liberty emoji. New York gold pot emoji number zero. No it's bicker about it. Yeah. So it looks like very Musk. We're, we're already seeing that. His most recent post, addicted to it. So I take it one day at a time. Trust God. No bicker about it. And it's a picture of him holding a football shirtless. Incredibly Musk. And there there seems to be... Here's him on a football field. Musk and Vask. Look at the Vask here. Mm, Look at the Vask in that bicep. That's, a, that's an official Vask. Put me anywhere I mean, on he, God's green that's earth. That's a not human level of Vask. Um, he has 3.5K Instagram followers. Yeah. The caption to this picture that we're looking at here reads, put me anywhere on God's green earth. I'll triple my worth. I'm a hustler, baby. I'll sell water to a whale. I want to say that's a Jay-Z lyric. Mm. He's pumping iron. Okay, here we go. Oh, he's flexing in that photo. Here's a little video of him. Rookie mode. 20 TDs. Is that arena football? Are you yeah. asking me? He played arena football, it <laughs> looks no like. I have no idea. What which is, is I don't think arena football exists anymore. When was this from? 2023? Oh, shit. Did they bring it back? I gotta start watching arena football again. Leave him hanging. He's got a bunch of pictures of him as some kind of pro football player. I believe this is arena football. Um, Caleb Smith is his name. We see that. There's just a bunch of 
football, 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 football. All of his pictures past a certain point are football. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's still a pro football player. Here's a video of him. Let's see what this is. Took my W's in silence. So when they call, I don't answer. Okay, this is a bunch of, it's a very long, no bigger about his it, trust God. link is to a YouTube video, Rookie Mode, Caleb, quote, Moe's Dangerous Smith. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Danger is the middle name. Yeah. Uh, and it's like a bunch of his like football videos. There's a man slapping him on the butt, notably. Yeah, he was a, an arena player. So arena football was, uh, I guess it still exists, but it basically is a uh, kind of like the NFL, but shrunk down. So they play it indoors and they have like padded walls and stuff that they can run into and you can throw passes off these big nets. It was a very interesting hmm. experimental version of football. Let's they should the do it where is. everyone's in a bubble, like a big, you know, mm -hmm. Ed Waste brought bubble. So no one gets um, CTE. We're just looking through some of his highlights here. Draft week. He's got some highlight clips from games he's played in. All right. All right. So a competitor. Yeah, we're definitely them. we're going to see him on the uh, tackle football group date for sure. And I believe he will utterly dominate that date. I just don't see anybody coming. I mean, he's a professional football player. Well, he's not. He's an algebra teacher, it says here. So mm -hmm. maybe retired athlete. Now he's a teacher. Let's see what ABC but says. Why are there him. no teacher picks? I've been forgetting to go to the, the ABC thing. Let's check out Moe's here. Where is he? Here he is. Uh, class is in session. It says Caleb, aka Moe's, Let's is an go. algebra teacher who's They're ready to see if Moe's plus Jenny is your love. The self proclaimed certified lover boy is charismatic, charming, and serious about settling down. He's extremely close to his family, hopes to have a big family of his own. He's in a long, he has been in long term relationships before, so he knows he's a great partner. He's always willing to grow and improve. Uh, he says his ultimate date would be a trip to the moon. Okay. He isn't afraid to try freestyle rapping for his lady. We're going to see that. Maybe that'll be a... Li no, his limbo exit is going to be something to do with football. He you don't speaks... think it'll be an apple? I'm a teacher. No. I think it'll be a football. He speaks Spanish fluently. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll be an aloha. He played football in the XFL. So that was not arena football. The XFL was Vince McMahon's uh, attempt at a football league. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't like tarantulas. Well, he maybe he did both. If you have a pet tarantula. Uh, yeah, the Time old Aaron tell. Herb also said he was a lover boy. So are we going to have a lover boy off? Are we going to have a Clayton versus Rodney yeah. underdog situation for the lover boy title? Who is the most lovely lover boy? Time will tell. Let's move on uh -huh. to Ricky Martinez, who is 28 years old, a Sagittarius from Miami, Florida, a pharmaceutical representative. Ricky okay. Has... Healthcare. What's that? Healthcare. This is a plus for Jen. That's maybe. True. Hopeless romantic on the ultimate side quest for love. Standing like I'm shy or something. In his bio, it reads, I bring words together in hopes that they dance. Is he a poet? Is Ricky Martinez a poet? Ricky Martin was a poet. That's true. He's a pharmaceutical representative, a poet. I mean, what can he do? We are looking at some of his posts here. He's travel Barcelona travel posts. Here's a post of him. Oh, he is a poet. Look, here's a post where he's sitting at like a little cafe. I don't know where he is. Very musk. He's wearing a, a sleeveless kind of shirt. Extremely musk, of course. Mm -hmm. And the caption reads, here's some lines from my latest poem, Dream. I'm saving myself Ooh. for those who are willing and for those who sacrifice so they can attain a life where their wildest desires are real, where the sun and the moon can meet yet again. Quadruple sparkle emoji. I mean, I, I applaud him. Thing again. There's no rhyming here. I like my poems to rhyme. That's old school. This is an interesting Instagram. There's a lot of like travel. There's some workout there. See, this is well. I like this kind of thing. This picture could be better, but this type of picture mm -hmm. is what producers like to see to be like, look, here's what I'd look like on the yacht. That's 
But that's date. exactly what I was thinking. It's like he needs a nicer camera, but these yeah. are the shots you want. He's alone. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, already like this. This little video step he's got of him. And where is this? At this point, I live in Spain and I vacation in Miami, it says. So I guess he's somewhere in Spain. Oh, that's probably Mallorca. Just this crystal clear blue water. He's walking around. I it's think like, that's only Mallorca, baby. Oh, nice. I see those Case crystal Case waters. There's something about Mallorca. Just a lot of travel, a lot of musk. Um, I like it. It's tropical. You know, what it's really giving is Bachelor in Paradise vibes. His entire Instagram. I like it, though. This is a pretty good Instagram. I, I would like a little yeah. more close up on the face. A lot of these guys are missing those types of posts that are like, let us see who you are. Parasocial gaze. Gaze upon us. Let's see. Are those eyes going to This is what I would like to see more crown? of. This kind of shot. Mm. It's It's like it's a little dressed up. And he's looking right into the camera. Just a lot of travel shots here. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Athlete. You can always count on me for three things. One, to be smiling. Two, to give praise to the most high Christian player. Three, to be hungry. The rest is as important, is as important as the terms and conditions. And these are pictures of him. Smiling God hunger. Baseball at some high level. I don't know what this, if it was this college, is this? That's probably the XFL. I don't think that's what it is because this is a different sport. But, uh, <laughs> no, that last guy was. Wait, where is he from? Ricky Martinez. Or is it uh... Marinez? I think it's his, this is Puerto Rico, Sidra, Puerto Rico. The caption reads, I wanted my this is island. This Miami. Well, maybe that's where he lives now, but this is from Sidra, Puerto Rico. And the caption reads, I wanted my island to know my name. I wanted to play in front of my people. I wanted to play a full season where it all started. Guess you can say mission accomplished playoffs. So he's he's playing baseball in some capacity in Puerto Rico here. Hmm. Now we have him listed as Ricky Martinez, but his Instagram says Ricky oh, Marinez. I don't know I what his real name is. We got a typo maybe? Let's look it up. Here's what ABC says about Ricky. A guy like Ricky is a girl's dream. The former pro baseball player is looking for a deep emotional connection and is tired of the superficial dating scene. He was born and raised in Puerto Rico before moving to Florida with his family where he lives now. Ricky learned English as a teen by writing poetry and watching rom-com movies. Perfect. He says Lover he's, boy. <laughs> he's always working on himself. <laughs> it strives to become a better person every day. Ricky's ultimate date would be making breakfast together and watching the sunrise at the beach. Unfortunately, Ricky, we're not mm-hmm. going to work out. I don't get I up ain't at sunrise. I seen that sunrise. No way. Not doing it. Eggs and bacon. You know with what? A handsome Someone guy else like we predicted would be waking up early mm. in Joey's season. He should pair up with that person. Sure. His first language is Spanish. He never celebrates his birthday, and his favorite author is Jody Picoult. Wait, <laughs> he loves why reading. Why does books. he deny his birthday? Sagittarius. Interesting. November 1995. Right. Uh, let's move on here. Huh. I think Ricky could could last. I don't see him as a night one guy. I think he will make it through night one, mid-season washout. Let's move on to Sam McKinney, who is 27, a Capricorn from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and he's a contractor. Let's see what Sam's mm. got to offer here. Sam McKinney is sam.mckinney.23, and... His bio reads, he who is filled with love is filled with God himself. 5.5K followers, 115 posts. He's got himself playing some flag football in a little video here. So he's a little bit athletic as well. He's got a bunch of pictures of him with arms around buddies. This is arms around buddies. This is arms Mm. around buddies. This is arms around buddies. This is arms around buddies. This is arms um, around buddies. This is arms around buddies. Post? I mean, all of the, half of his Instagram. Which post? Sorry. The uh, his first pin post. It's the promo, and there's a PTC in it. Ooh. Let's see what he says. Okay. Okay. Motorcycle accident. 
that's a pretty strong PTC kind of a, I had a disastrous incident happen and now I'm using the rest of my life to live it to the fullest. You can't take any moment for granted. I predict he's going to be doing a lot of arms around buddies plays with the other guys in the house based on his mm. Instagram. Here's another arm around buddy. This is another arm around buddy. He's even got a picture of him. Is and his arm dog. always on top? Yeah. He's always on top. Look at this. He's got two arms uh, around his dog. So he's doing it to them. Yep. There he is again. Arm around buddy. Glad I got to spank you one last time on the golf course before you leave. Hashtag yeet. And he's got his arm around buddy. Here's mm. two arms around buddy. Incredible concert with these goons. And check out the new trick I learned longboarding. And it's him with four buddies. And he's got arms around two of them. Here's him with arm around family. Clemson is getting a good one. Stay out of trouble while you're there. That's a long ride for me to bail you out. Ha ha. I guess his little brother probably is going to Clemson there, I would say. Him with a bunch of dogs. Here he is. Um, attempting Musk. Now, I got to say, he's pretty Musk. This is a picture of him shirtless, mm -hmm. screaming into the camera. Who said you have to be a kid to play in the mud? Hashtag living. Hashtag tough mutter. So he did a tough mutter. Generally speaking, just in a general pop scenario, this guy's Musk. In this season of Bachelorette, he ain't Musk. Sorry to say it. But that man is Musk. That's just nonsense. Got another arm around buddy. If There's your muscles go like up and then down, to mm. me, that's Musk. Look at this. Legs around buddy. He's carrying a buddy on his shoulders. What the hell? Here's a picture with three buddies and no arms around any buddies. What the hell? Harry's back to his arm around buddy, shenanigans. Taking L's on the water, but winning with these guys in life. It's him with a whole bunch of buddies. Arms around buddies. <laughs> I can't believe so many arm around buddies. Oh, shit. Look at this. Some high school baseball. Can't wait to get back to it. Hashtag post 178. It's a picture of him as a pitcher. I think that's probably got to be high school. Here's a high school wrestling. Throwback we to my days. We got an all text when... post. What's that? We got an all text post. Yes, I'm a Christian. Yes, I can be the biggest hypocrite ever. This is um, very Maddie Prue coded. Yeah. And Hannah Brown, stumbling, falling, but God's work. I'm his mess, bless this mess, mm -hmm. kind of thing. And Jesus still loves me. That's what this is basically saying. Got some comments here. All right. Well, he's Christian. He played a lot of high school sports. Looks like three of them, baseball, football, and wrestling. He has a lot of buddies, and he's got just enough arms to keep putting them around all the buddies he's ever going to have. This Instagram mm -hmm. is not... It's okay. There's there's not a lot of him specifically in it. I don't like to see that many sports photos. Sorry. I agree. It's too many. And it's also like unless you're currently a professional athlete or something. Yes. There's no it need says, for this. Living you're in not the past. that person anymore. You are no, no longer in high school. How old was this guy? Do we remember Sam McKinney? Sam McKinney is 27. I think it is time to hang it up. Shall we move on? To Sam Najed or Najee, Um He has perhaps. a TikTok. Oh. Sam McKinney does? It is Sam uh, McKinney 3. I'm at it. Uh, <laughs> well, 1,281 followers with three posts. 162.8K likes from what looks like this one video, which has 1.1 million hmm. views. What it's him this? and an unknown woman doing a sister. to the Mario Kart sound, eating a fruit roll-up thing. All the comments say girls never win. This person said he cheated. Who's going to win? trying to suck up a long fruit by the foot. She touched I think they're She's siblings. They have a very similar face. He hashtag. Won. It just says hashtag for you page, hashtag FYP, hashtag fruit by the foot challenge. Oh, this is April 2020. It's so a, some quarantine kind of vid. Interesting. Well, good luck to Sam McKinney. I don't know about Sam McKinney. I think there's... No. I don't know about Sam McKinney. He doesn't give me a good stamina vibe. I think he's going to wash out somewhere mid-season. I am wondering, I'm like, we have a lot of Christian players this mm -hmm. season. Is Jen Tran Christian? 
I have no idea. Do we know? Shall we look? Because, I mean, yeah. You want to have current fi- pictures of things you actively have going on. Uh, the You can have a few, you know, high school photos. At least archive them during this period, you know, Man, when you're getting the most followers. It's like, it's so hard for me to look at these incoming rookies. And it's like, I know Jen Tran has had her whole rookie season. She's now the bachelorette, you know, she's had a bit mm-hmm. of a glow up or whatever. She's gone through the process, but God damn, her Instagram's so good. And it is when you're having to look through these guys, hold Jen's. up dead fish. And then you see like what a real pro a player does. dead fish. Yeah. You know, like, oh look my at, look at God, this. her Instagram's so good. Jesus. I need to be buried with this lip gloss. Th- these are post bachelorette, but even like look back in her. Let's go back. Let's go back, 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 back in time. This is our first post. <laughs> Words can't describe how much I love these men. Thanks for making senior night so freaking hashtag fleetsy. Is this high school? This is in 2016, February 26. Senior night, sounds like. So yeah, because she's, what is she, 26 years old? So that would have been 18, 4, 20. Yeah, I think this is high school. Oh my God, that graduation photo. I know. Are you kidding me? Unreal, right? Like, this is before Bachelor. This is before anything. Just a natural talent at this. Like a Disney princess. It's incredible. I mean, you couldn't... That looks like an AI-generated graduation photo. Look at this. Here she is just like with a friend of hers. Look at her in that thing. It's like, this picture isn't even that good. She just Mm -hmm. shines out of it. Who's this? Who's she with here? Separation anxiety. Who's this person? We got no tags. Some friend. Was she in The Bachelor at this point? What? How 2021. Old is this? No, 2021. Absolutely not. God. Like, this is... This really is like you're looking at these pre-Bachelor photos of her. Miami Beach, Florida. Insane start to the B-Day week. Feeling so loved. Look at these pictures. This is from 2022. November 2022. So that would have been... Wait, November 2022 is right into Joey's season, right? Uh, wasn't it in January? No, November, 2023. Yeah. So his would have aired. Yeah. So this was a year before she was shooting bachelor basically, man, her Instagram so good. Look at this. This is, uh, about a year from when Joey's season was airing. So pretty. Look at that picture. This is just a selfie she's taking. She just understands yeah. this. Also, it's like the the women's Instagrams are so much better than the guys. I mean, yeah, we're they like, are. you would never have a thousand yeah. trout photos. Look at that. She's got a link tree. She knows how to do it. She knows how to do it. I don't know if she's a Christian player or not, honestly. I couldn't tell from that. It's I don't not know. part of Time what she's uh, projecting as to. her thing now. Yeah, exactly. We don't know. Let's move on to our next player, Sam Najed or Najid. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce his last name. 25, Leo from Carlsbad, California, <gasps> entrepreneur. Carlsbad. Now, I believe part of his game, I think he's a never been kissed player, which means that uh, also from Carlsbad is <laughs> uh, Heather Martin, another never been kissed this player. This is Sam N E J A D underscore. Oh, so I think we have that name wrong. I think it's Sam Najad. We have the mm. letters transposed there. Um, I think I, this guy has 183,000 followers with 32 posts. That's a lot of followers. He, Let's see if does this he have is. so many followers? Oh, he's a TikToker. I'm Persian. Okay, so there's a lot of Persian. Uh, themed reels. He held up a sign in his thing on night one there that said, will you be my first girlfriend? So I think this is the guy that has never been kissed. Um, Why does he have this many Instagram followers? Do we know? 
I don't know. His family's from Iran. He's Persian. A lot of stuff about this being is Persian. This 1.7 million likes, his first post. So... His first post in... In 2023. Oh my God, what is this? Uh, he has a TikTok. It is also Sam Najad underscore, where he has 280.8K. Okay, so he's famous through TikTok. I don't get this. Well, and Instagram. Here's a, here's a TikTok that has 9.2 million views. Let's see what this is. Using the bathroom right after your dad. And his dad has just come out wiping sweat off his brow, smiling. And Sam is looking back like, oh, God, I can't go in here. Ew. He drops the toilet paper. The stink is so bad. Everybody in the house is having to cover their nose, including the dog. The dad's <laughs> laughing. The dad's wearing a UC San Diego dad shirt. Ew. It's, it's scored by Carmina Burana. You know, I guess... I, I don't know. I'm not getting this. Here's a 3.3 million view thing about how dads spoil their daughters versus their sons. This is just a video of him getting out of a car. Hashtag Persian Starboy. Well, the dad gave the dad gave the daughter a new car. So we are supposed to believe this man has never kissed anyone. I guess. Maybe it's a homeschool situation, and they gave him a little. I wonder if it's like a religious, like a toddler's thing. fake car. I don't know. I don't know. I guess he's a a comedy guy or something. I'm not exactly sure why he's got all these followers, but like, mm -hmm. good for him. We'll see how he does. I don't know if the never had a girlfriend, never been kissed type thing works in the modern game, um, especially for a guy. I'm so confused. I can see I him guess being he like, like maybe he deleted a bunch of stuff like. Because all the videos are viral. Yeah, the I don't first know. one has 500,000 on, on TikTok. TikTok. How is he? Yeah. What does he say his job is? I don't know. Entrepreneur. What do you think that means? I think that just means trying to be famous on social mm -hmm. media at this point. I don't know. Oh, Good wait. Good luck to Sam. Very curious. He was on all right. another dating show. Oh, which Look one? Look on his TikTok. Uh, it's maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, his seventh post on TikTok. How dads treat no. sons versus daughters? Seven from the yeah. bottom. It's, it's like some girls talking. 330K views. Yeah. So he got eliminated on some other dating thing. Where they don't some see YouTube their video face? or something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I'm not look, this is a confusing one to me. I don't understand why he has this many followers. Um his Instagram is mainly these comedy mm -hmm. videos, as is his TikTok. I guess they have an audience. Um moving on. Our next player is Spencer Conley, 30, Taurus, from The Source. Mm. This is a source boy, Dallas, Texas. Pet portrait entrepreneur. Hmm. Let's see what he's got here. 8.4K followers, 19 posts. He's at Spencer.Conley. His bio reads, I hope that you like videos of my dog. Rose Emoji, Season 21, Fitness Entrepreneur, Founder, Print Your Pet. Let's see how, what we got here. 30.4K followers. And that looks like it is some kind of a service that can make... Dog um, portraits. Portraits of your pets. Or, or cats mugs. or whoever else. Mugs. I've um, yeah. I've commissioned pet portraits before. He's got, he's got a little workout video here. He's pretty muscular. There's a lot of musk going on, even for this petrepreneur. Pet portrapreneur. There he is flexing. Got some vasque going on there, oh, too. His wow. forearms are very vasque. 
some pictures of him with dogs. It's just a very small Instagram, 19 posts. There is, oh shit, SMU, opening day stangs. Let's go. Did he play on that? Print your back. SMU is Southern Methodist University. It is where I set my second novel, The Lie. It's all connected. Here's another picture of him, very musk. All natural pet Everything supplements. Is, that's a source boy. Okay, so I'm expecting to see a lot of um, creature yeah. parasocial plays from this man. I think Me he's too. maybe going to bring in a portrait of Ooh. Jen's animal if she has a pet as his limo exit. I agree. He's got, got 177 followers on TikTok. I hope you like videos of my dog, fitness entrepreneurship. Depends on the dog. It's just him working out. Not not a lot of posts here. There's not a lot to get to this other from this other than he's got an interest in dogs and he's got uh, some workout habits. <laughs> Good for him. Good for Spencer. Let's see what uh, ABC says about Spencer. His TikTok is Spencer underscore Conley, C-O-N-L-E-Y. 177 followers. ABC says of him. Spencer is a glass half full kind of guy. He oozes positivity in everything he does from spending time with his family to running his own business. The entrepreneur's work is centered on pets and inspired by his adorable dog, Rue. When Spencer isn't working, he loves running, playing Catan with his friends and traveling. A little bit of a nerd there. Spencer is used to being the wingman for his buddies, but he's truly ready to find his person for life. This mama's boy is ready to leave the nest and is looking for a family oriented woman who is optimistic, loyal and loves his dog. Life is never boring when Spencer's around and he plans to make the most out of every second he has with Jen. He has recently hiked 47 miles to the Grand Canyon. He loves watching and rewatching The Office, and he ran two ultra marathons last year. Not a lot about no. his personality. You here. know, we haven't seen someone focus this much on their dog since Rambo. Yeah. I'm saying Spencer's a night one guy. I cried when I heard about Rambo. Did you? Yeah, me too. I didn't cry, but it is very sad. Moving on. Let's go to, we have two more players here to get to. Thomas Nguyen is our next player. Thomas is 31, a tourist from Tucker, Georgia, a retirement advisor. Let's see what Thomas has to offer here. Thomas has 40 posts. His Instagram is the underscore Thomas Nguyen, Nguyen, W-I-N, 2.6K followers. Okay, okay, okay. There's some buddies, a bunch of childhood pictures. Whoa. Here's this Whoa, transformation picture. That... It's time to work. This is my 12 month say, progression. That's not a musk. It's very musk. Um, well, it's I musk. won't say it's musk. He's very, he's cut. He's low body fat. You don't think there's musks This there? was my 12 month progression. This person agrees. 152 pounds yoked, to 166 brother. pounds. We all start somewhere. This person also agrees. Damn, Zaddy. Hashtag yep. aesthetics. Another comment. He is working out a lot. What is this? Here's a proposal photo. I wish I could put into words what today means to our family. We love you so much. And you make Danny the best version of himself. So this must be his brother proposing to who is now his wife, I assume. His brother's proposal. So that might come into play here. Where's my posts? Here he's, here he's looking pretty musk in the gym. He's at Orange Fitness, Orange Theory. You ever been to Orange Theory? Mm, nope. Me either. <laughs> I don't do that. He is, is a picture of yeah, him his a first photo is Oh, running. no, here's a PTC. Mm. What? Here's a picture of him as a child, it looks like, with maybe a sister or someone. And it says, 14 years ago, we lost this little angel. I think about you every day, and every tattoo on my body reminds me of you. It might sound cliche, but life is truly too short not to love and live fully. Miss you, mm. sis. So that's going to be a very strong PTC, which means this man will be making it past night one. Oh, I think he is. I think he is. He's so for TRR. Um, Looks like he was a swimmer in high school. It's giving for TRR. College. I I think he's going to do well. I agree. All right. We got one more player. Thomas Azano, 27, an Aquarius from Toronto and a physiotherapist. He has a Instagram and a TikTok. No, nope, At T-Z-Z-A-N-O on Instagram, he has 2.6K followers running rehab reality. Ooh, we got a Zach Clark player. Bachelorette season 21, Rosemody physical therapist at Myo Detox. 
probably running with my crew. I go to my OD talks. What does that mean? I do my OD talks. Mean? It was advertised to me by Instagram. It's like a deep massage kind of thing where they try to work your your fascia loose. Oh, I, I feel like week. just a normal massage is like too much for me. And I feel like it's not enough. Wow. That's why you got my OD talks. He's running marathons. Okay, that's He's, another Zach uh, Clark. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's See, vast this in this um, running photo. Which one? Um, this one? This video of him? I lost it. He's got a little video of the Gen Tran Oh, it's his pinned, his pinned photo. White Running? Shorts. Nope. Yeah. Just here for the vibes. Hashtag run. Community run club workout for you. Shirtless and white shorts. You going to say that's not vast? Uh, Vask. He's got a little bit of Vask there in the mm -hmm. bicep. What's this? Here's a video of him drinking. We run for croissants. Mm. And he's running around. My sister loves so, croissants. I mean, there's just like a lot of running. He's very into running. He's shirtless in a lot of photos. It's an okay Instagram, I would say, overall. I, I tend to like pictures like this more in the Instagram, where it's like not quite candid, but kind of candid. Um... It's definitely curated, some which I like. Um, you know, he's got covers for all of his highlights. You know, he's ready for the fandom mm -hmm. to descend onto this Instagram. Bachelor season 21. He's already got a highlight for that. Got it. For the upcoming season. And he's got all of his promos. It definitely. In there. That tells me I know it doesn't guy. say he goes far, does it? <laughs> No, it's uh, if you already have a highlight reel of your season of The Bachelorette and it has not yet aired, you are leaving yeah. night one. I can guarantee it's not that. A good. Uh, does he have a TikTok? He does. Let's check that it's, out. Uh, just, just to make sure. At T O M A S A Z Z A N O. Running Rehab Reality Bachelorette season twenty one. Uh, there's one hundred and seventeen followers. It's, it's many of the same things we saw on Instagram. Just a bunch of running. This man's a runner. Unfortunately, they don't really do any long-distance running competitions in Bachelor, but I'm predicting this guy's a night one. Night he's, one guy. No. Sorry, Thomas. He's performing a voluntary nudity play in the pro, in this... Uh, he took a horrible video of like a Chromebook or something, and then he made his face in front of it, the third pinned video. This? Do you see that? Yeah, that one. He's doing a voluntary nudity play, not right there. Oh. He makes it past night one. Yeah. That looks like a bowling date or something. He at least makes it to. I stand corrected. I stand corrected, but I don't think no, he's going to make it I far. Still I still don't think still he's say long that. for this game. <laughs> Uh, no, if you're putting your your season highlights up before the show hey, has even I come out, I think that's just prepared. You're, you're but probably not doing well. It's not something yeah, we see a lot of ring winners doing. Or, yeah, or you know, top four mm -hmm. really. Time will tell, but uh, that is it for our rookies this season. We hope you have enjoyed our going through these rookie profiles, and we will be back on. This Friday, with a very special interview. Oh my we hope you'll join us for that. I... It was an absolute delight to get to talk to this person about, how shall we say, Perfect Match Season 2. It may or may not be someone from Perfect Match, and it may or may not be the best player from Perfect Match. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's subjective, but certainly it's a viable I think thing it's to say. But thank you again. <laughs> Thank you again, everyone, for joining us. Uh, Pace Case, before we go, what is that dwab at? It's been 8,135 days without an Asian bachelor. Praise be Dark Lord Palmer. Please rate this podcast. Please review this podcast. Please get a friend to listen to us and then please rate this podcast. Please review this podcast. Please get a friend to listen to us and then please rate this podcast. 
Please review this podcast. Please get a friend to listen to us and then 